cleaning is easily done after you have practiced a couple of times. First, make sure the separator has come to a complete standstill before performing any service. Please note and consider the general safety instructions in the technical manual of the unit. The revolution counter and the motor fan indicate if the separator is rotating or not. The cleaning interval depends on the solid contamination of the medium and the operation time. The exact cleaning time can be calculated via a sizing tool. As the separated sludge is accumulated on the inside surface of the separator bowl, the bowl has to be opened for cleaning. Untighten the cap nuts and raise the collecting cover. Remove screw plugs from separator frame and open the separator bowl. Lock the bowl from rotating with the two lock screws. First, the small lock ring has to be removed. This is done with the special tool Spanner for Small Lock Ring. Attention! This is a left hand thread. Also, the large lock ring has to be removed. This is done with the special tool Spanner for Big Lock Ring in addition with a tin hammer. Attention! This is a left hand thread. Next step is to remove the bowl hood and the top disc. This enables you to lift up the disc stack. The remaining oil in the bowl body has to be removed. This can be done, for example, by disassembly of the bowl body and pouring the oil out into a bucket. Then you clean the bowl body and remove all sludge and particles collected. To assemble the bowl, please follow the necessary steps carefully. Remember that any exchange of major parts necessitates rebalancing of the bowl. Assembling the bowl should always follow the shown sequence. Please refer to the service instructions in the product manual for more detailed information. The disc stack has to be assembled in the right position. Tighten the lock ring counterclockwise left hand thread until the bowl hood lies tightly against the bowl body. The Alpha Laval oil cleaning module is now clean and ready to continue operation.